It was one of those L.A. days where the temperature creeps up just before the sun. A scorcher. Los Angelinos call it earthquake weather. Seismologists will tell you that the weather has nothing to do with earthquakes. But the people here know differently. When it bakes, it shakes. So I was fully prepared for some disaster. At least, I thought I was. Zane Sorensen was going on trial. He'd been connected with some pretty serious crimes over the years. But always the man behind the action, the boss. The DA never had enough to convict until now. Like a lot of guys who'd been considered untouchable, Sorensen got sloppy. He'd been conducting a transaction down at the Santa Monica Pier, and when the deal went sour, Sorensen pulled the trigger himself. Only this time, there'd been a witness. My brother, Joey. What, no burritos? Hot dogs. Fine. We're glad when this is over. Oh, come on, Mick, it's a no-brainer. I go in there, tell them what I saw, they put the scumbag away. I don't know what you're so worried about. Yeah, when it comes to Zane Sorensen, witnesses have a way of forgetting. Oh, well, not me. I'm surprised we got this far without him trying something. The guy's been locked up, Mick. Believe me, guys like Sorensen have a long reach. Yeah, well, maybe he knows that intimidation and, and strong arm tactics won't work on the likes of Joseph P. Barrett, huh? Come on, he usually starts out by offering a bribe. Really? Mr. Sorensen, Mr. Sorensen, the district attorney says he has confidence that he can get a conviction against you. Would you care to respond, sir? Unlike the uh, district attorney, we would prefer to try this case before a jury rather than the media. But let me just say that my client, Zane Sorensen, is a respected businessman, a pillar of the community. Yeah, right, and I tied my own tie this morning. Oh. Hey! Sorry about that. Oh, man, I'm the state star I'm witness. Now look here, man. Don't worry about it. We'll be called for well, bathrooms is for him. Are you saying that the DA's motive... Come on, Joey, you can't be too careful. Oh, Mick, look, there's a bazillion cops out here, okay? I'll be fine. Are nothing more than scurrilous lies designed to impugn his right, name. All right, make it quick. How do you explain the body then, sir? It was an accident. It happens. But the victim was found in the trunk of your car. We object to the term victim. Our contention is uh, Mr. Duffy committed suicide. Are you saying then that Mr. Duffy shot himself in the back of the head, wrapped himself in plastic, and then locked himself in Mr. Sorensen's trunk? He'd been depressed. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing court. We'll have a statement for you later this afternoon. Come on. You gotta admit, the guys are rocked. You wouldn't think you had anything to worry about. Yeah, well, maybe he knows something we don't know. Yeah, that's what I think. I got most of it off, it's no big deal. Gee, I'm happy about that. Yeah, so am I. Joey. Yeah. Hey, no!
We're prepping him for surgery now. He's actually very lucky. The bullet doesn't seem to have damaged the brain, but because of the position, removing it's going to be tricky. So what are you saying? The bullet didn't kill him, but the operation might? We're going to do everything we can. Okay. Suppose you do get it out. Then what? Well, then, he'll have a small scar, but that should be it. No, he'd, uh, he'd actually like that. <laughs> It's going to help, you know? What do you expect me to do? Reason with it. Dr. Minus to pharmaceutical. Dr. Minus. Now, look, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm a little stressed. That's okay. Don't worry about it. It was out of what I wanted, and it took my money, and it's not really about the damn machine anyway. I just don't want to have anything else taken away from me today. I understand that. Kara Gibson. Mick Barrett. So, what brings you here? Uh, my brother's in surgery. Oh, I'm sorry. Is he going to be okay? No. I think so. How about you? Oh, my father. He collapsed this morning. They're doing a triple bypass now. <laughs> it's really this waiting that's making me crazy. I know what you mean. with a headache, but he should be as good as new in a few days. <laughs> you know, the, uh, the DA is still going to want Joey to testify. And now Sorensen has twice as much reason to want him not to. If he can get a gun into the courthouse... Don't worry about it, Mick. We'll arrange to have a 24-hour guard on Joey's door. Right, make it a uniform so there's no confusion. Of course. Thanks, Colonel. I really do love that kid. Come on, Fritz. We got a restaurant to run. You get some rest, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Mr. Barrett. Nurse Bentley, report to administration, please. Nurse Bentley. Your brother's in room 210. You can go up any time. Okay, thank you. I was all pretty worried there, but I'll... Just gotta do things your own way, don't you? Pain in the butt. I really thought maybe I'd lost you there. But you're gonna be fine, Joey. I'm here now. I'm not going to leave you alone again.
Okay. That false alarm. You scared the hell out of me. I scared you. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Oh, did you take that IV out? Yeah, it was itching me. I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you mean what happened last time you had to go to the bathroom? No. You all right? My head hurts. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, you hungry? No, I'm thirsty. Uh, I'd like a drink. Okay, thirsty, thirsty, here. Boy, you are thirsty. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I better get going. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute, pal. You're not going anywhere. Well, no. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? What? No, no, no. He's there for your protection. Don't you remember what happened? No. You were shot. Oh. Really? Really. This is a hospital, then? Yeah. This is my room. Yeah. Well, what are you doing, Anna? I think you want to be alone after what you went through. Joey? Joey? You feeling all right? I should probably know who you are, shouldn't I? Talk to recreation, Nurse Cook. This isn't as uncommon as you might think, Mr. Barrett. He doesn't know who I am. He doesn't even know who he is. I understand that. Yo, well, I don't. You said there wasn't any damage. No, no brain damage. But this kind of amnesia is often brought about by the sort of trauma which your brother experienced. The shock was both physical and mental. Well, how long does it usually last? Mm, it's impossible to say. Cases vary. Some patients retrieve bits and pieces of their past. Others wake up one day with a fully restored memory. Still others have to relearn everything. Well, how come he can still talk and function? The amnesia doesn't affect those areas of the memory. What your brother has lost is his identity and all that goes with that. Yeah, including me. Yeah, including you. So how do we help him? Well, sometimes a similar trauma can reverse the process, but short of bashing him on the head, the only thing one really can do is wait and see. What are you saying? Do nothing? Well, I don't want to give you false hope, but one thing that has been known to work is cognitive therapy. That is to say, if one can somehow find a trigger, it might release the memory from the subconscious. What kind of trigger? Well, what you would literally be trying to do is jog his memory. Sit down with him, talk to him, tell him about his life, some specific moment, even a phrase can do it. It, it might be something seemingly insignificant. Let me get this straight. I say the secret word and win my brother back, is that it? Yes. Orderly, report to supplies B. Orderly, supplies B. Okay. You're set now. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Don't tire him out. <laughs> no, I won't. So, how are you feeling? Oh, not bad, I guess. Listen, I, uh, I spoke with Dr. Wilkes. She's pretty sure this amnesia thing's only temporary. How temporary? Uh, she can't say for certain, but you could wake up tomorrow morning with your memory intact. Is there anything you can remember? Anything? Well, I'm not sure, but I kind of... I kind of remember a, a woman, and she's sitting in a chair but it's soft, like a rocking chair. I'm not sure, but I think she's singing. That's Mom. Mom. Where is she? I mean, why, why isn't she here to visit me? She's not around anymore, Joey. She's not. That's not either. I'm both 
dead, aren't they? Yeah. Long time ago. That's what I figured. Wish I could remember. I mean, I, am I supposed to remember? Did I before? Yeah. I want to remember. You will. First, we've got to get you to remember yourself. How? You're Joseph Barrett. People call you Joey. And you're the second best surfer in Malibu. Who's the best? What do you think? First wave's mine. Not if I get there first. Cause I'm punk, I'm the big brother, I say first wave's mine. I'm Mick Barrett, this is my brother, Joey. Mick and Joey Barrett, right? Yes. yes. You must be the Barrett brothers. Yeah. Barrett. That's B-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. Are you the Barrett brothers? Who, Who wants, wants to know? know? Joey Barrett, nice to meet you. Cool. He's a little weird, but no. he's cool. It's my brother. Barrett, Joseph P. Malibu. Do you have a brother, Joseph P.? Yes, sir. How sweet. Twins? <laughs> if he wishes. Hey, where were you? You missed the best sets of the day out there. Yeah, I know, but there's more to life than just surfing. That's true, very true. Yeah, and there's more to life than that, too. What? Who are you and what have you done with my brother? Oh, wow, Mickey Sweet. You're gonna have to give it time, Mick. He's just been through a very traumatic event. His subconscious will know when to release the memories. What if it doesn't? Well, he'll get through that too. Yeah, but that's our experiences that make us who we are. If he loses all that, who will he be? He'll be your brother. Mick, I hate to bring this up now, but I think you should know. Gordon spoke with the DA and... Oh, he's gonna drop the case against Sorensen, isn't he? Well, the state's case relied on Joey's testimony. And if Joey doesn't regain his memory, then they won't have a choice. I couldn't stand to see that son of a bitch walk. Not after what he did to my brother. I know. Are you going to be here again tonight? Yeah. All right. I'll stop by tomorrow again, all right? Okay. Thanks, friends. Hang in there. Mick. Uh, Cara, hey. You're not still waiting. Ah, uh, paperwork's murder. <laughs> I think this is a sign your father's doing better. Well, the doctor wants to keep him here for a few days. The bottom line is, he's gonna be all right. Ah, oh, that's terrific. Yeah, and your brother, how's he? He's good, yeah. It's nice to have a happy ending some of the time, isn't it? Yeah, it is.
No. Don't. Hey! Joey. Joey, you're having a nightmare. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right, bro. Hey, do you remember who I am? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You're Mike, right? Mick. Mick. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Mike. I'm sorry. No, really, I'll get it right next time, I promise. Just go back to sleep. Don't worry about it. I'm not sure I want to. That was some gnarly dream, man. Yeah, well, it was just a nightmare. You were in it. What was my name? We were running through the jungle. There were dogs and guards. Joey, was there a girl? Mick, there's always a girl. What? That was no dream. Was it? Well, yeah, yeah, it was a dream, but that actually happened to us. Oh, Mick, these guys that were chasing us, they had guns. Yeah, they usually do. <sighs> they do? Yeah. Come on, come on, you gotta think. You're on the track here. I don't know. It was just images. I, I don't know. It was just a dream. Look, last year, Gordon sent us down to Mexico. Oh, wait a minute. Who's Gordon? You don't remember Gordon? No. Can I... Wait a minute, wait a minute. What about Mexico? What about a, a year ago? Tell me, tell me. All right, all right. No, Gordon sent us to Mexico. It was supposed to be a simple job. All we had to do was find this girl and bring her home. But as usual, things got a little complicated. What the hell was that? The girl, Trudy. Lisa, Lisa. Mick. Quiet. Yeah. What's up? Are you Trudy? Yeah. How are you? What up? hard to get you home. What the hell are you doing out here? I escaped. They were gonna kill me. Well, no problem now that we're here. No problem. These guys have guns. Lots of guns. Yeah, but you'll think of something. Oh, well? Yeah. You always do. That's, that's just what you're good at. Shouldn't do that to a guy who's just sustained a head injury, man. Do what? Oh, come on. You're making that stuff up. I'm not. I wish I were. That kind of thing does not actually happen. It does to us practically every week. How? Well, it usually starts with one of Gordon's goddaughters. There's a young woman who needs your help. This is the way it always starts. What? Oh, who is she? Her name's Sheila Hennessy. She's the daughter of my old section chief. She's got another goddaughter. Hey! Can I help it if I'm in demand? You know who Nita Colton is? It's about Nita Colton. <laughs> Joey, we've got all the girls we can handle. Well, Nita's my goddaughter, Joey, and she's in the hospital. Does Gordon know this young lady who's in trouble? Wait. Don't tell me. She's Gordon's goddaughter, right? You see, Mick, Victoria's my goddaughter. Jeez, Gordon, you have more goddaughters than God. Mick, it's okay. We're in heaven. Hi. You gonna call Gordon? Yeah. Uh, look, um, don't tell him I'm with you, okay? Why not? Well, he's uh, my godfather. You ought to start a support group. Oh, uh, she's with us. Fred said nothing about a girl. Uh, come on, Wayne, there's always a girl. That's a bazooka. Oh, no, it's not. It's a law M72 anti-tank rocket launcher. Well, you can tell, Gordon, I don't think they're confused anymore. Uh, Gordon, we gotta go. Goodbye. What line of work are we in? Uh, we're not really in any line of work. You see, that's the problem. Too much time on our hands. 
No, the problem is you're a sucker for Gordon's line. You don't like this Gordon guy very much, do you? It's not that I don't like him. It's... I can just do without him, that's all. I think he sounds kind of cool. Well, I see some things haven't changed. So none of this is ringing any bells with you? Well, let's see now. I think I may have had dreams about being locked up in a ship's hold with lots of beautiful women. And trust me, you weren't in any of them. Hey. <laughs> we'll have to stop meeting like this. Let's start. How's the patient? Oh, he's been having cravings. I think he may be pregnant. <laughs> Actually, they're checking him out tomorrow morning. Great. How's your dad? Well, let's see. He's um, complaining about the food, hitting on the nurses, and uh, running a craps game in Ward 8. He's fine. That's good news. Yeah, for a while there, I really thought he wasn't going to make it. It's funny how people can surprise you. Yes, it is. Well, I better let you go. I gotta go feed the natives. See ya. Your move. You don't play chess? If you say so. Check mate. That's fascinating. Oh, Fritz, this is my brother, Mike. Mick! Mick, Mick. <laughs> we know each other. Oh. Oh, you two. No, come on, don't no, be no, ridiculous. No. We're just friends. We're just friends. Ah, uh, you know, maybe not, but you want to, don't you? That's the, uh, the stuff he asked for. He's a little upset. Is he? Yeah, he seems to think we're some kind of ninja surfer detective cops or something. Any word from the DA? Yeah, I think he's gonna drop the case. Well, maybe if Sorensen gets what he wants, we won't have to worry about him anymore. You two want a kiss? Take Joseph Barrett to x-ray? I don't know anything about that. Dr. Wilkes orders. See? This is right here. I'm gonna have to call down and get this approved. Sure. You do that. <laughs> well, it all fits anyway. You know, you're pretty mad at me, aren't you? What? Well, this court case, this guy I'm supposed to testify against, he's pretty bad news, huh? He's the one I just shot, Joey. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I'm sorry that I can't be mad like you. I, I, tr I try to be, but I can't remember. It's a little hard for me to be upset about it. Don't worry about it. I'm mad enough for both of us. I just wish I could help you out, that's all. It'll come back. We just gotta get you out of this hospital. We get you back to the boo up on your board. Maybe that'll do it, huh? Yeah, maybe. You know, it's funny. You telling me about me, us. It's kind of like you're telling me about this other person, this person that I don't know. Funny thing is, I kind of like him. It's hard not to. What do you mean? Everybody likes it. Really? Really. Do, um... You like him? I love you. You're my brother. Oh, pretty close, huh? Pretty close. Well, can we still be? I mean, what if I don't remember all this stuff? What, what if... What if I don't ever get my memory back? I mean, 
What if you don't like me as much? That isn't something you're ever going to have to worry about. Thanks. Let me tell you something about Joey Barrett. He's got this talent. Talent for living. Not everybody has it. It's a gift. I admire it. It can be pretty obnoxious sometimes. It gets him and me in a hell of a lot of trouble. But I sure do admire it. You admire me? Yes, I do. Well, tell me some more about me, then. What are we going to do here? Do what we used to do. What, a stunning display of brains, physical skill, and dispatch? No. You'll make a wise crack, and I'll kick it. We caught a red-handed man. There's grenades in here, and ammo, and, and, and detonators and stuff. Woo! Man, put some cuffs on those dudes. We got a righteous bus happening. Will you get off that thing? Be off there sooner than you think. Joey! Yeah! Your brother likes you very much, kid. I know I don't. Still. Hey! Go, man! that a lot, don't you? What? Save my butt. Hey, something I'm good at. Oh, Joey! Oh, Mick. You okay? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of rope burn. Listen, next time you get me to watch your back, get somebody to watch your mind, too. get my memory back, then who am I going to be? You'll still be you, Joey. You'll still be my brother. That's a good thing, right? Oh, yeah. It's the best, bro. Hello? Just a minute. Yeah? Mick? Kara. Yeah. Look, I'm uh, sorry to bother you. Um, I, I know it's crazy, but uh, I, I don't have anyone here, and, and you were so nice to me. What's wrong? It's my father. I don't know, Mick. He was doing so well, and uh, they were going to release him tomorrow afternoon. Carl, what happened? He died, Mick. <laughs> Do you, th uh, do you think I could see you? It's just, uh, I, I don't want to be alone right now. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks. I I'm downstairs in the lounge. 
Okay, I'll come right down. You okay for a while? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Won't be long. for a woman who called me from down here. Cara Gibson, her father was a patient. No, if she was here, she didn't say anything to me. Sorry. Okay, thanks. Um, could I just leave a message in case she comes back? Sure. Thanks a lot. father was in Ward 8, so... We don't have a Ward 8. What? Joey! Time for your shot. The doctor's in there with him right now. He doesn't want to be disturbed. Really? No. I'll go grab coffee. What one? No. Okay. This will be all over in a second. Sorry, Carr. Your license to practice has just been revoked. Nick, what are you doing? What I usually do, saving your butt. Gah! High tide will continue. So Cara's agreed to testify against Sorensen, huh? Well, she could hardly refuse. The DA offered her a very sweet deal. With good behavior, she could be out in a very short time. Oh, that's great. There's something about her I like. Let's not forget she tried to pump me full of liquid drain cleaner. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe that was it. <laughs> Hi, very funny. Hey, how you doing? Very, very funny. I could still walk, you know. I only got shot in the head. His least vulnerable area. Hospital rules. You have to stay in it until we get you outside. Yeah, all right. Hey, what do you guys want to eat? I'm sick to death of hospital food. It's up to you. Oh, really? Cool. Thanks. Yeah, you're buying. What? I bought last time, remember? You promised you'd buy the next time. Oh, well, gee, maybe I didn't get all my memory back, huh? I'll bet. I just thought you guys would want to take me out someplace special, you know? Treat me. Why would we want to do that exactly? Thank you. To celebrate my recovery. After all, I think this experience has taught us all a very valuable lesson. Really? What might that be? Well, just that you got to take time and think of the ones you love and appreciate them. After all, there may not be another tomorrow. So say and do those special things while you still can. Joey, that's beautiful. I thought so. 
So you think because of this lesson learned, we should uh, take you out in the spring for your dinner, right? Exactly. A few drinks? Well, to start, you know. Nice steak and lobster. Ooh. Oh, bro, I, I feel your love. Some dessert? Oh, I feel wanted. I feel, I feel warm, wanted. What's going on? Who am I? What? What's the matter? What? what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Where am I? What? What's the matter? Who are you? Who are you? Thank you. Uh -huh. You too. Uh -huh. You go for lunch? Yeah, yeah let's okay. go. Let's do it. Guys, that's, that's very funny. Ha uh ha, -huh, I get the amnesia thing. Okay. All right. Um, guys, all right. How about just burritos, huh? We'll just go for burritos. That's cheap. Hey, what's my score? Next time on High Tide. Don't shoot me, Nick. Please. And you think that means I killed him? The attendant at the impound yard says you threatened Jurgens and said you were gonna kill him. <laughs> you know, I never did like you, Barrett. I did it for you, Mick. I swear, McGregor, if you hurt my brother. Mick, get this party! Joey!